Hey folks, John Ferguson Smart here again. Today I want to explain to you why you should not do what a lot of Agile training tells you. You should never write acceptance criteria in the given when format. When you put them into JIRA, when you put them into the initial format. Now why do I say that? Why do I say you should not use this given when then format? I mean, surely if you're doing BDD, then this given when then is the standard. It's a universal language that everyone is supposed to use. Well, no, slow down a bit. Given when then is a common language that can be used to record conversations, record business rules and examples in a format that can be executed. But it's not a format that you want to ask product owners or business analysts to write their requirements in. I see that time and time again. BAs are writing given when thens all through these big JIRA cards with lots of basically word documents with given when then at the start of each paragraph. It's horrible. It helps no one. It makes life harder for the product owners and the BAs. Poor people have to write this stuff. It makes it harder for the testers who have to just throw it away and do a totally new set of acceptance criteria, new set of test scripts, new set of executable specifications, whatever they're doing. It just doesn't help anyone. So whatever your Agile course has said, whatever the Scrum training that you did said, where the acceptance criteria are meant to be in the given when then format, I want you to forget that. I want you to throw it out the window and instead write given when then in a natural form. Just Sorry, I mean, write the acceptance criteria in a natural format, just the way you speak. If you're a BA or a business owner or a product owner and you just want to point, write in bullet points or write a few key examples or a little table, that's cool. Do that. That's awesome. Don't let the structure get in the way of your expressiveness. The given when then comes afterwards. It's the outcome of a conversation. It's the outcome of a collaboration process. It's never the input. So that's what I wanted to talk about today. Thanks for listening, folks.